the institutions that are supposed to protect democracy, the police and the military, are used to undermine it. The state of Uganda's democracy was a subject of discussion during a sitting of parliamentarians of the House of Commons in the United Kingdom on Tuesday. MP for Stockton South constituency, Dr. Williams Paul, who tabled the motion, said the systematic undermining of democratic values in Uganda was a matter of concern to Uganda's development partners, such as the UK. They're important because of international standards and accountability. Uganda is a partner to our country in the United Nations, in the Commonwealth, and we have multilateral relationships through the European Union. But we need to know um, th that the UK isn't enabling the atrocities that are being committed also within Uganda, the, the, Ugandan, the country of Uganda, by Ugandan forces. On the other hand, John Harwell of Henley constituency questioned why Britain was meddling in Uganda's affairs. Does that not show that we have an uphill struggle to get, get our points across in the sort of measured way he's describing? And how will we do that? However, the British MPs commended Uganda for her peacekeeping efforts in Mogadishu, Somalia, and its progressive immigration policy that has seen it placed third, leading a host of global refugees. Support for refugees is the largest financial contribution that DFID makes in Uganda, and due to sensitivity of the situation, we need to ensure that this stays in place to prevent escalation of humanitarian crisis. Uganda is a member of the Commonwealth led by the UK, but Deputy Government Spokesman Colonel Shaban Bantariza says the sovereignty of Uganda allows it to resolve its own problems using the laws of the land. And for him to, 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 to fail to raise uh, a quorum of, of parliament in the UK shows you that what he's trying to discuss has no locus, first of all, because we are a sovereign state, sovereign country, and you cannot start discussing our, our governance in their own parliament. Bantariza adds that Uganda cannot be arm-twisted to bend to the whims and interests of foreigners. Even if it had, he had raised the matter to the House of Commons and it was full quorum, and they made a resolution, then what? Who would, who would implement his decisions or their decisions? However, head of the political science department at Chambogo University, Dr. Sultan Kakuba, says the Ugandan government cannot afford to ignore the views of the United Kingdom on her democracy. If uh, Britain takes up an initiative to discuss issues of governance in this country, then the leadership here needs to check what is happening. Walter Mwesije, NTV.